You saw it at Ripley's Believe It or Not. Now the world will see it. you call love but confess you've been a messin where you shouldn't have been a messin and now someone else is getting all your best these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you now it's time to play one-on-one -on -one with someone from our studio audience. Burton, who do you have for us today? Well, today, Gordon, we have Lori Aerosmith from a, an Atlanta, Georgia suburb called Smyrna. Hello, Lori from Smyrna. How are you? Is that where Smyrna's come from? Yes, exactly. Lori, here is your chance to play one-on-one. -on -one. I want you to meet a gentleman with two stories to tell you. His name is Jim Wells. Welcome, Jim. <laughs> Now, Jim is going to tell you two stories, only one of which is the truth, Laurie. If you can spot that true story, you'll win $500. Jimmy, what's your first story? In Scotland, I have Gordon Elliott's job. I'm the host of the Scottish version of To Tell the Truth. Oh, go away, really. Now, that may or may not be the truth. Let's listen to Jim's second story. I own a company called Shoes for Moves. I make shoes for cows to protect their feet. Now, panel, to help Laurie win that $500 and the new shoes, you'll ask one question about each of those stories. Let's start with the story about hosting to tell the truth in Scotland, Jane Meadows. Jim, in Scotland, how much can a contestant uh, uh, win if they, you know, fool the people? They win up to 5,000 pounds. Oh, Which is how much Sterling. in dollars? 10,000 dollars. Oh, so what they say about the Scottish is not true. No. But Mr. Mr. Goodson is a very generous man in Scotland. Yeah, that Steve. lovely. Mr. Wells, what was your previous claim to fame that entitled you to become the host of To Tell the Truth in Yes, I uh, studied in London, England uh, for the entertainment field. I see. Christine. What's the most unbelievable true story you've had on your show? I would have to think it was the time that uh, we had five people go up to Everest. Okay. okay. Moving along to Ron Mazak. You, you meant Mount Everest, didn't okay. you? Oh, yeah, you, because Everest is a, a panhandler down here in Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> and I didn't know what you, you, were, you were talking. How long has To Tell the Truth been on in Scotland? We've been on for seven years. See, there's hope for you, Gordon. There is hope for the show yet. OK, now you've heard Jim's first story. Now story number two, questions on the cow shoes, Jane. Well, what do you protect the cow's feet from? Why do they have to wear shoes? Foot rod. From what? Foot rod. Bad feet. Bad feet, foot, foot rot. rot. Oh, foot rot. Steve. <laughs> Sounds like Tommy Rod to me. I don't know. But, uh, what does it cost for a nice uh, size 12 uh, medium pair of cow shoes? $90. <laughs> Is that with a tassel or lace up? <laughs> Steve. Only one size of cow shoe? Do you make baby cow shoes? And... One size fits all. Lovely. <laughs> Rod. Now, is that $90 a pair or a quadruple? We're saying two. Two. So that's $180 a pair. Oh, two pairs, four pairs, oh, two pairs. So $160. Okay. That's another disaster, wasn't You've it? You've heard the cross examination. If you can work it out, Laurie, is Jim the host of To Tell the Truth or does he make moo shoes? I would say that he's the host of To Tell the Truth. Well, if you're right, you win $500. Jim, what is your true story? To Tell the Truth, I make shoes for cows. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laurie, you were wrong, but thanks very much. We have a nice gift for you today. Thanks for playing one-on-one. -on -one. And, Jim, for stumping, Laurie, you'll receive $1,000. Jimmy, do you mind showing us some of your shoes? By all means. <laughs> I just happen to have one here. Oh, that's fantastic. They're made of vulcanized rubber, as you said. Vulcanized rubber. And I, you know, I, hang on, hang on. We, we, we should have a cow for this. We, we shouldn't we have a cow? Oh, Is there a cow in the house? Hey. I, oh, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> come on in. Come on out. <laughs> they look fantastic, Jimmy. Thank you. Come on. And and who is 
Who is this fellow we've got with us today? This is this, Penny. This is Peggy. Penny. Penny, the champion California uh, cow. Okay, now, uh, they fit on to keep it uh, safe from disease that can kill the cows. That's correct. Oh, golly goodness. Are they comfortable, do you know, for Penny? Are they? And what do you think about them, Penny? Mmm. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> All righty. That's, that's, that's about it. We can squeeze into the studio. studio. We'll be back with the uh, little... Okay, you can try them on too. Okay, you can have one of these too, all right? All right. We'll be back. Oh, that's lovely. They're... Oh, and they're comfy. Oh, right. How do they look with my dress? <laughs> they match you. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. Well, panel, that's it for this edition of To Tell the Truth. We'll see you again next time. Cheerio. This is Burton Richardson speaking for To Tell the Truth. A Mark Goodson television production. Shoe. This is a shoe for a for a cow. It's got to be. Well, why? why would he wear one? This is actually a or she. This, well, uh, if you had uh, something wrong with your hoof, Gary, you'd probably want to run one of these on your foot uh, feet. This is actually <laughs> cows have these problems. They have hoof. Well, you're from the Midwest, you know this. But they have heath is the plural. Uh, <laughs> If you have something wrong with your, like a corn, a cow has a, cor a cow corn. Cows get corn. Cows get corn. Uh, yes, no, they eat corn. They eat corn and they, they, they get, get them on their feet. Corn. They do. So, uh, it settles down this into their protects feet. protects no, be serious here for a minute. So no. that the uh, foot, if the foot gets infected, has like uh, they have uh, hoof rot. Hoof rot, actually, yes. Oh, so when the foot gets infected, you, you put this on the cow's foot after you treat it. That's absolutely correct. So the farm, for the farmer who doesn't have everything, you get one of these, and we have a lovely model who's going to show oh, us just. Oh, I got it. Come on, we have a cow. This is Sarah. Sarah, come on in here. She's so cute. She oh, loves her. Hi, baby. Oh, hi, Sarah. Look and at this. Look at feet. Well, that's terrific. The so they and they wear these until the affection is uh, yes, and they're is over. Uh, and they're fifty dollars. They're fifty dollars a foot. Okay, don't let anybody see the cow. Watch, watch your feet. <laughs> they're saying move the cow. No, no. Over. Sure, but just, we'll just move it right over. Guys, yeah. oh, Sarah. oh, she oh, feels oh, underdressed. Oh, she needs. Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna oh. say what's coming up. Uh, I don't watch, like this, Anne. Watch your feet, guys. Or you'll need these shoes. <laughs> watch your feet. Yeah. Forget the feet. Okay. Look where we are. Thank you, Sarah. And go with what she's <laughs> wearing. All right, we're having Look so much this. fun. We'll have more of this after the break. So coming up, more terrific holiday gift ideas, including some fanny skis and some snow bullies. We're gonna need a snow shovel if we're not careful. Kitty will show us how beautifully the newly remodeled Woodland Hills home turned out. And Cosby star Sabrina LaBeouf has some new products that do not use animals to test for safety. Did See you it. hear that? Yeah. She smells so good. I mean, you may not think so. I love going to the barn. Thank you for viewing our hoof healers, and we guarantee you will be happy with our unique product. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you